Yeah, folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Software, Inc., where we are in that phase that so many tech companies go through, where at some point, they've got a bunch of money, and if we were, well, I mean, I guess we are a publicly traded company, but we haven't actually sold off any of our stocks, but this is where our shareholders would be asking for unlimited growth, and anyway, we'd be purchasing companies left and right just to show that we were growing, even if it wasn't growing in a financially responsible way. And then a few years later, you know, we pay out huge bonuses to the CEOs to say thank you for the growth. And then the company collapses in on itself because none of that growth was sustainable. But it does feel bad to have so much money sitting around our bank account and not doing anything with it. Heck, I could buy more bonds, but not going to. If anything else, I'd want to like sell this bond off because we just did this to get our achievement. Um, I'm Oh, there's the release in 88. Okay, so our $1 million bond will pay off then. Oh yeah, that's fine, we'll just ignore you. Um, and yeah, there's our stock thing over here. Oh, this is where we can, wait, what are these stocks in? Oh, okay. So our little task over here, which we could complete by making 20 grand in stocks or bonds, I had assumed that buying shares in other companies would count as that, which is stocks, but it looks like there are these publicly traded stocks over here. Um, I mean, do we buy the ones that are trending up or do we say, no, it's like BKA has been flat and now started going up and amount. Is this in dollars or number of shares? I'm sorry. Are those, is that 105,000 per share? So if we did 10, that would be a million dollars worth of shares. No, that's ten dollars worth of shares. Okay, so we're gonna go for nine 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 ninety. Those are in separate groups. That's so annoying. If I withdraw, do I get all of it back? I think so. Okay, let's go for a cool million. And I can put one too many zeros in here. No, one million. Okay. Oh, I guess if I click off, I get the commas. Good. All right, we'll invest a million dollars in BKA. Because we got nothing else to do. Well, here you wait. We'll just. SOP is just flatline. I mean, it might be going down. But let's invest a million dollars in each. This is called diversification. It's also called. Well, doesn't really know how to interpret the stock markets going on here. Uh, need to fi pass a fire inspection to get insurance. We did not pass a fire inspection. Okay. Got some snow. We got this. All right. Let's go forward. Day ship's going to come in in a few hours. Right now, we're, we've got a lot of things going on simultaneously. Two of these are um, are deals. This The Gun Tricks in Heaven 2 is a deal, which was in the design phase, ending nine months. And then the Published Studio 8 is another design deal, um, which is just development. So we're using that to keep our... Pick this one up to pick our development team, uh, keep them busy, while working on actually developing the thing we want to do, which is Quill's Left Ear, which is our audio project over here. So hard on design. Oh my God, I didn't realize we were getting another fire inspection. So three more fire alarm violations. We do have a bunch of rooms that don't have them. Oh, we're gonna release our press release. There we go. All right. Target demographic doesn't know who Quill is. They're still sketching out the details. Cutting edge press release is pretty boring to look at. No pictures, of course. Has our full attention slated to release in July of 87. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is going to view the problem areas. All right, that's good. I was just looking at the fire inspection, like the, the insurance. Uh, go fire alarm. If I go, if I tab out, click view, we'll go to another room. No, it goes to the same room. All right, gotta admit, that's a little annoying. Is there a filter? I mean, I guess there's a flammability thing. None, low, high, but <sighs> at a glance, I can't see if there's a filter to show me rooms that have fire alarms, but it looks like we have one in all the offices here, this main room. I do have one, okay, in what was our HVAC room, although is now actually a room that's not used for anything. I just realized. If we go up a floor here,
I don't think we need one in there, but... I'll do that. These big rooms here are prob... Well, they're not... There's no one in them, so maybe they're fine. But just for the sake of whatever, I'm going to get one in each one of these. Now, these rooms are going to be cut up later, so I'm going to have to remember to make some changes later. Um, we didn't get any complaints about the fire extinguisher. Which, because we actually do have one in this room as well. I think this one's too small to require it. Turn that off. So we could be looking at more of these filters. And one low effectiveness. Everyone's nice and green. All right. So yeah, we can dismiss this now. Theoretically, we'll pass our next fire. Um, inspection. Like, what's the word again? Go, go, go. Everyone's product. Oh, no, we do have some idlers. Or a marketing team. Of course. Well, I might have to let that be. I know the press things become less and less effective. Although I might just want to keep grinding them out just to get the extra level up. I don't think we can make the paper release, right? Or the... I know we do have enough for um, for some press photo stuff. Although I, I would think that that's going to have to wait until maybe we get into development. So that costs a whole one follower, which is what I expected. It's because we're so unknown in this particular field. I don't think the marketing is going to be particularly successful over there. I think a lot of what our marketing is going to be is actually going to be the post release. I think the thing that might bring us the most followers of the project is going to be the press builds that we throw out there. Okay, more shares. Sure, fine. I mean, I'm not looking to actually like maneuver a buyout. It was just something to do with my idle cash. Oh, um, right. I figure you probably need bug fixing. Yeah, let's get started on that over here. Buses are filling up consider building parking. Okay, right, that's the other thing I can do with money. Hold on. Let's buy this plot of land. Not even that expensive. Parking, is it under the roads category? It is. Let have a gap here and then build around it. So people wouldn't have to walk as far. Oh, that's just the means or horizontal. How many parking spots is this? It's just a two. It's also making me think that maybe what we wanted is a vertical here. Parking anyone? Oh. Um. All right. Delete. How do I change my mind? Oh, bike racks. Oh, can I replace? Okay, good. Hold on. Bike racks there. Double parking. Okay, so now people are going to be able to drive to work, not just use the buses, which might be better for their time and energy and different things. I'm hoping a lot of people use the bikes. That's a lot of bike racks. Okay, grind, grind, grind. Working through here, working through there. Burn through as many bugs here as possible. I bet you we get rep from finishing these as well. At least if we do a good job. So hopefully we do. Okay, cars. Um, okay. That was quite close. So, yeah, right. People didn't drive to work today. But maybe tomorrow they can split that up. I think still a lot of people will be taking the bus. And that's okay with me. Right? Yeah, we still have until tomorrow. I'm going to try to do as many of these bugs. I'm not going to look to ship early. I want this to be as bug-free as possible. Call then sick. That's fine. One whole car in the parking right now. It's fine. Okay, let me cancel this. Cancel this. I'm betting with the day shift, we'll see a lot more over here. And yeah, I might not need this space for, um, for building if I keep building vertically. 
Although maybe we could do a little manufacturing center over here. That'd be something to consider going forward. There you go, three cars. Oh, lots of bicycles, nice. Where are we, the Netherlands? So many bikes. Okay, one idler probably marketing. Vince, you've got an education. I'm sorry, in leadership? Why did you get an XP in a leadership category? Dev evening. Are you doing HR work? I don't want to do this because we could have an evening person. Handling some tasks. Oh. Oh, we need showers for the stinky people. Oh my. Okay, hold on. Let's on the ground floor where people are coming in so they can bike and then go directly here is what we're going to do. Showers. So, I mean, there's bathroom, which does have the shower fixtures. Um, choosing a wall. How does the privacy for this work? I mean, maybe they don't care. Make this a little bit bigger. I have no idea if this is what we want. Make individual little shower stalls. I don't know that we need more bathroom stalls, but kind of, to me, makes some amount of sense. I wonder if you can have just the whole thing count as one bathroom. And then just have the sinks. Like, could we make little stalls here for the toilets? Um... There's walls, there's fences. Yeah, I wonder if that's possible. Since I don't know, I'm not gonna do it. I'll have to do some, some Googling. Let's get rid of this wall here. Or that way. That and that. And then going back to the rooms in the bathroom. By the toilet. Sink. Sink. I'm not hearing any. Not seeing any warning signs come up. I think that's an excessive number of showers, but so be it. Okay, yeah, the stink. I have built showers. Oh, there we go. People are taking them. So yeah, I think everyone who comes into bike, they'll rush to the showers. Um, and I mean, it, it's clear that if the showers are occupied, probably people will wait and then they'll go after. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, people eating lunch in this room? That seems 
very odd. Oh, um... All these rooms here are actually going to get the bathroom button. And actually, I guess this one too. Which I realize is going to change their outside wall, but I might not worry about it because I am not. I don't think I'm going to look in that direction. Why, why is everyone going and eating lunch over here? Um... We're gonna see if that persists. Like if I... It doesn't show me what the room limitation continues to be. Like only artists. It doesn't make any sense though. I mean, this is clearly a bathroom. Teams, usage, selected groups, computers, select employees. Wait, oh, wait, what is merge rooms? Hold on. Is that what I'm looking for? When I was talking about, if I click all of these rooms and merge them? No! That's not what I wanted at all! Oh no! I wanted this to count as one big room. Uh, can I undo that? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got some more stinky people, but hopefully not tomorrow. I could put a wall light in here too. Yeah, that's fine. We could put some privacy windows. That's something we could do. Um, here, window. Oops. Small private bathroom or window. So this is gonna let some light in here. But it's like frosted glass. So it's okay. Not doing any in the shower side. None of heating. Oh. Place the unit, thank you. And then if we go up to the here. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Okay. Um oh this gotta release. Oh, yeah, by the end of today. 300 hours, finish, done. Oh, we don't get a little pop-up for it. I guess, did we not get any rep for it? Maybe if we wait a day, maybe we'll get some feedback. Or if we, oh, we did. Um, yeah, that's fine. So we didn't do our tax report, annoyingly. Okay, you can, there's no X for this like stinky message. Is it just when they show up the next shift, it's gonna be reasonable all of a sudden? No one currently idle. Oh, couple people with education. Francisca, I mean, this is a secondary role, but. Oh, you're an artist and you've been doing some design time. Um, you're in a 2D. We'll do some more 2D things later, so we'll go ahead and grab that. And then Rita, who's been with us since the big, well, not literally the beginning, but nearly so. I'm going to get you to finish off your systems for the speed boost. Okay, I'm going to see what happens if we hit develop. Oh, we just finished the job, didn't it? I'm clearly kind of confused about the deals. I feel like our rep went up from the deals. I guess we must have done a good enough job. And when everyone in the building. Wait, I'm confused. Oh, the dev team has also handled this. We're doing a little design, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a little. Uh... There's no tech, but we've got five bugs to fix. So let's do a quick bug update. Quill's good touch. Still have a ton of active users. And done, so finish. And yeah, so we got some idlers, especially at the end of this dine phase, because we're waiting, yeah, it's just this MIDI device input right now, which not everyone can work on simultaneously. We go up over here and bring down the walls. 
Money, 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 money. No marketing. I guess, could we ship a, a press release with concept art? Let's do it. Now, as I was gonna say, there's text and pictures, so some of our people can't do the pictures part, but they'll be able to do the text part. The album here is done just yet yeah, until we finish this here, which is okay. I could take another dev deal. Oh, wait, hold on. I hadn't noticed that I broke a thing over here. Uh, walls. Right, you were supposed to be in part of the deals team, which actually I think we're going to phase out here. What if I make this Quill's private office for a little bit? And again, put him on... Put him in a separate team that does all the work. Yeah. So I'm going to rename this deal one to Quill. And the employee we have here is Vanessa, who's mostly a designer. I'm going to change you to um, your evening design team. So we have no employees on that right now. Done. And then Quill. I wonder if there's a quick way to, like, find an employee for this team, you know? So we just find Quill. Uh change team we put them on team quill and then team quill does everything um he doesn't really mark it maybe that part doesn't make any sense so yeah right now actually it is just gonna be this um he does have the one tick in accounting i guess you could help with but we have a dedicated accounting i guess the, the all maybe stays on as default for later No, no. We just eliminate this squad completely, throw Quill on just the design team for now, and then move him around later. Although this means Quill would be doing HR work. That's one thing with this. Well, maybe we'll just do it that way. I mean, should everyone who's working on a project be on just one team? Because right now it's sort of splitting. Oh, um, we need to tell Quill to move over here. Oh, you're gone for the day anyway, but... We'll unassign that. You'll be fine tomorrow. Oh, this isn't actually assigned to a team. That's part of it, too. Uh, switch teams. This is currently going to be the Quill team. Office. Just to make sure there's no... people getting in each other's way. I know, Dev Squad, you've got nothing to do. If we give everyone one tick in 3D, it means we can start introducing 3D to our projects. So maybe. All right, Quill's had this for a while. All right, I'll start putting points into the, maybe the automation. And yeah, I guess, maybe I should just take a development deal, especially if it's not too far away. October, oh yeah, it's just a few months. Here, I'm going to accept this one with the dev. Yep, that's good. Okay, developers can work on tank camp in heaven. Again, just try to keep their skills sharp. No more bugs, but we're still going to answer the support calls. You know, basically just spending time in the forums answering questions that people might have. I'm just going to need some artwork. Uh, we do have an artist on the dev team, so that should be okay. So, Quill, why are you not here? Oh, because you're getting training, that's why. Three D it is. So I think we have a three D developer and three D designer now. July eighty seven. We got lots of time. Yeah, we're gonna push out the design as much as possible. Other teams are occupying the office. Oop. 
Did you find you? Is it Quill? That's just... No, he's not at work. Wait, I'm sorry. Vanessa, why are you here? Oh, because I just switched you, so you were due for your day shift job. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to send you home because you're bumming everyone out. Oh, we can actually do multiple months at a time. I wonder... We do probably still pay them. I mean, I'm sure we paid them for this day, but... I send them home for a couple of months at a time. I'm betting I still pay them during that time. It'd be nice to like force them to be like, listen, take your vacation now. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this completely. Uh, let's give you the three star audio. So you can work quite quickly when things need it. Yeah, I'm hoping this won't be an issue. This employee has trouble concentrating. I suspect that was just that one, and now we're going to be okay. It's called in sick. That's fine. People are buying things. That's fine. You guys are whacking away over here. No bugs outstanding for Quill's good touch. But yeah, I'm going to keep the support for this going until we go to the next iteration, which I think what's going to happen is the as soon as we're done designing Quill's left ear, we're going to start working on the next 2D editor. Okay, what is this... Do any of these people have their computers okay, owned by nobody, owned by nobody, owned by nobody, owned by nobody? Wait. You back? You're supposed to be design evening. Why are you here? Did I send the wrong person home? Why are you here? Oh, wait, hold on. I never changed the hours for my design squads. That's why. All right. Fair enough. Sorry I kept yelling at you. Done. There we go. Now your hours are correct. Um, and Vanessa, I still have you selected. I'm going to... Oh, I don't have to use... thought I did. There. Oh, maybe I did. I misinterpreted. I'm going to send you home early again. Sorry about that. But you're, you're bumming out everyone else. I wonder if you'll show up for your evening shift. Probably not, because you probably still consider yourself having worked for today. That seems fairly likely. Just then it's tracking these costs. It's the only thing that does that. I mean, I'm assuming maybe it needs, like, material. It might, it might be that. You know, because we're presumably making flyers, or we're buying ad space in a magazine. Ten employees have gone on vacation. That's probably it. No bug fixes. Out of curiosity, could we... Oh, we could do a tech update. Yeah, let's do it. It's going to split our programmers between the Tank Heaven, the Tank Camp in Heaven game, and then this update, but I think that's okay. Oh, we did find a couple of bugs at the same time. Well, that's convenient. And yeah, we're going to let this completely fill in on this golden design, and then we're just going to go through. Oh my god. Okay, now, see, listen. Oh, this might have just been overlap between a couple of ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Finish that. Done. So a new bug fix. A new version of our software went out. Still have about a quarter million active users. So no one's moved on to another product. Although, there, you know, there might be room in there now for things to happen. And I can automate the HR for our teams for the education. And... We, maybe maybe it's about time. I don't know. I think I still kind of want to guide it. Do we get the third pip in systems for speed, or do we start getting everyone that first tick in 3D to give us the option of doing a 3D project? Let's get you the third tick in systems. I'll go and get you one in 3D. Give us some options. Oh, the artist over here. We could go super fast 2D. Um, we might want a second pip in audio on someone. Though we could always hire for it. I'm just wondering about... Let's throw in a little 3D. We're just going to open up these options for us. I mean, it's the mid-80s. The idea, the concept of 3D is very hype. Although not very viable, that's for sure. Uh, 
Uh, maybe we'll just focus on some basics for you since you can't do anything in design. Tip of audio. Maybe a little bit of network in here as well. Give us a few options. Okay. So again, we're waiting for this to fill in completely. And right now our dev team is, is, having, is throwing in a little bit of work on the design here as well. Just a little bit goofy. Actually, you guys... How come you're not working purely on this? Oh, you probably don't have the star rating for the tank. Okay, another press release is done and ready to go. I'm going to release this one as well. This one's at least got pictures. Nice pictures, got her full attention. Hasn't done anything for our followers. Kind of as expected. Mostly I'm doing those to give some XP to our marketing people. I think their big role is going to be the post, um, post release support. So right now they're kind of just eating into our budget and doing nothing. My God, we're still making huge sales, aren't we? Another 2 million. It's just solid. How many total copies have we sold? Net unit sold 700,000. Only 3,000 people ever refunded. Wow. We made $20 million on this product. Is there a new OS available? Sloth OS 4. So, hold on. Can we... What OS was this for originally? Oh, screw it. Let's port it. Creator? Yes, no. Hang on a sec. Can I get more details? This updates the window we keep using. Yep, okay. Support is... Oh, I guess that restart probably restarts the support job if we cancel for some reason. No marketing options, which makes sense. We can archive it whenever we want. Oh, details over here. Sloth OS 3, Tiger 3. Sloth OS 3 isn't even in the list. Tiger 3 is not even in the list. So I don't know what the yes, no means other than... Are these people the creator of that? I don't know. But should we support it to like three different OS's? Let's do it. So there's no detail job. Presumably it's pure OS work. This would have been a great thing to keep my dev team busy when I was looking for something to do for them. Um, let me change the assignments over here in the design to Quill and the three design squads. Boom. And then over here to... I'm going to throw Quill in here as well, because why not? I mean, maybe that's too much multitasking. I guess we don't need him here. You know what? Yeah, we'll take Quill off of that. We'll just have him run into design. Call in sick, call in sick, raise revenue, more investments. Okay, that's all good and fine. Oh, yeah, I could have started this ages ago. Dang. That's okay, though. Wow, there's no one right now. We don't have anyone on an overnight shift anymore? Oh, probably people on vacation. That's probably it. Are people giving up on biking? Maybe someone else was able to buy a car. September, lots of money in the bank. Are you still idle? Are you my artist? Service. Our marketing team side. That makes perfect sense. Uh, I... I guess if I didn't have a publisher for Quill's good touch, by the way, if the publisher goes out of business, you have to take over printing and marketing at that point, but I would be able to run the marketing for it. We have a few bugs. I guess I'll burn through this queue again, although there's a good chance we're not going to find any other new bugs. Yeah, that's not what's happening. We'll run a quick update of that. Pick some more bugs because we know about it. Dev team's doing a couple of different things right now, but that's okay. I mean, they're still, they're purely working on Quill's good touch. I'm going to keep saying that as often as I can. Because it's hilarious to me. Any share is fine. July 87. Yeah, we still have lots of time for this design. We'll release our little bug fix. It's version 1.4.1. Pouring of one is done. Oh, and you can add more afterwards and change. Hmm. Wait, these are the ones I already support, isn't it? Maybe not. Oh, I guess those are the two missing ones. I could. There we go. So we finished one port. We're waiting on the others. Now. 
Assign add cancel. So is Quill's Good Touch already now supporting the extra OS? It is. Oh, okay. Cool. Because I was like, oh man, maybe I shouldn't put three at a time because if we have to wait until all of them are done before it happens. But no, they do do them um, sequentially, which is ideal. More education, which I'm going to keep manually doing for now. Oh, you actually got a level of programming. Your skill in programming is equal to your skill in designer at this point. Oh, well, with the pip of 2D as well. We always need a little bit of that. Let me get your third star in this. We may as well get a 2D because there's... I mean, even a 3D application will have 2D for like user interface and stuff, generally speaking. I think these iterations might go slower and slower. But, well, right now we don't have anyone in here, but maybe not. Maybe I'm dreaming. Intro oh, yeah, maintenance. You know what? And we haven't had IT in a while. IT and maintenance. Let's go and do a pass of the entire building here, please. Okay, sick vacation. Oh, we lost some rep. Deal negative. I wonder if it's because I ship a deal early and this would have been the natural time for it to end or the deals are expiring over here. So we're losing some rep. Maybe that's possible. I'm not too concerned because we're mostly doing our own stuff and the rep is mostly for the contract work as I understand it. Let's keep going and giving you the, the base star in a few different categories. We might be able to start des uh, developing this tomorrow. I mean, again, our dev team is actually busy with the port, which is great. I wish I'd realized that or thought about it sooner. The one person who was idle there, I believe, was our cleaner. And they're only in for four hours a day, and it doesn't take them quite that long to do everything, but that's fine. Um, so you've got three star in 2D and audio. We've got lots of people with one star systems. So again, yeah, we think we maybe just grab a star in 2D or network. I said 2D, I meant 3D. Last porting is happening now, porting to Tiger 4. And it'll come up with about the same time as this is mostly done. So that might be the time when we move to development. The dev team's gonna be idle. I think we probably pick up an extra few people. And we could go and decide to, oh, there we go. That's These guys are idle now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to switch this over to development phase. And then we're going to start. I'm going to make a sequel. So there's, as far as I can tell, there's two quick ways to do a sequel. From here, we can just make a sequel to Quill's Good Touch. See, it's still 100% interest right now without us doing anything else. Rock will do it. You're full here. Oh, if we do this, it'll automatically set it to advance in the future. Oh yeah, that's definitely what I want. New 2D editor, they don't have a category. Got our server set up. Setting to support 4S is, you know what, we'll do that. Let's take a look at the market analysis. Yeah, everything's pretty even. Now we could, with that in mind, I guess, yeah, I think it's expected because of that. As I say, we could satisfy other categories, but we've got 100% interest. I'm not going to get a publisher this time. They have more designers than is recommended, more programmers than recommended. I guess it's an easy job because we're here. Like, how much of a change is this actually going to make? I don't know. Maybe we can just convince people that it's a whole new software and they have to buy it a second time. It feels like it's not much of a change from before, which is why I haven't done it, but. And I don't know if, if let's say we made a completely separate drawing tile. Let's say this wasn't a sequel, right? Which I can do. I can be like, um, uh, how do I say I don't want this to be a sequel? Cancel it. I guess I would just start a new project. We can make another 2D editor with a completely different vibe instead. I mean, I guess there's some creativity going in, you know, so maybe, you know, this is going to lead to some different ideas. Speed boost, because it's being a sequel. 
and yeah, we're going to try to develop, uh, uh, do all the marketing and um, we may set up an electronics flow. We're going to see, but okay. Was well, a good touch too. Um, yeah, sure. We'll accept all expensive, but done. All that's sick. I've got lots of money still. I mean, if this is a complete flop, we're still going to be okay. So development is starting, and this is starting. Um, I don't remember. Was there a way? There's no peer reviews. Your server is, is set to server zero. That was fine. Software name is fine. Project details. Oh, yeah. Recommend programmers. Uh, nine out of seven. Now, our dev teams. How is it sitting at nine out of seven for programmers? It's saying we have nine programmers, except we actually have 11. Because I was wondering, like, is it counting all the ships put together? In which case, adding more people in the ship, because I'm like, oh, if we can do, if we should do seven per shift, I can do that. But I'm not convinced that's the situation here. Although we could add another artist. Maybe um, for night here. Maybe we'll hire another artist. I think low skill's fine for our evening development squad. Bad, normal. What about the night squad? How come the compatibility is NA? It looks to me we have three people dev at night. Huh. Oh, sorry, your design night. I clicked on the wrong thing. That's the problem. Dev night. There, now compatibility with this thing. All bad. Okay. Dev evening. Well, normal compatibility here. Fast learner, big brain. Done. Okay. Then the other thing I want to want to do again, we're still thinking about maybe taking a lead designer. And then the other thing is a project management squad that works on its own. I don't know if you can automate like deal handling or contract handling, or if it's always on a custom project or what, but I know that's a thing that can exist. Yeah, that's our cleaner idle. That's fine. Oh, waiting for lead designer. That's our lead designer has got the day off or might be doing training or something. If that's freeze the design phase, that's kind of bad. Wait a minute. Can I not do multiple shifts over here, maybe? Um, lead designer here is Rocco Ross. Where is Rocco Ross? You're currently in class. Okay, that might be all. But I'm wondering about the shift thing as well. Maybe it's possible the night shifts won't be able to do any of this. Or, oh, hold on. The creativity bar hasn't filled up. I bet you we need Rocco to show up, do the creative work, and then everyone will be able to start the next jobs again. I bet you that's how it functions. No idlers right now, which is good. Oh, um, I want to do a... Sorry, not the review. I want to send out a press build. For Quill's left ear. And tomorrow... Here we go. Target demographic doesn't know who Quill Inc. is. We haven't really heard about Quill's left ear. They need to try harder, but has all new features. Still a bit off from release. Yeah, so, I mean, because, again, we're not known in the um, the audio editor market. 2D, yes. So, theoretically, Quill's good touch. Oh, I should work on... I'm going to assign a release date. And... I'll wait for a little bit more to exist here, and then we're going to do a press release with pictures. Maybe after the first iteration phase, we'll do a press release with our like UI mockups and things like that. And I think that will lead to a bunch of followers. And if I muck up the uh, the marketing on these, we're going to make new money. What? Fire alarm sprinkler. Sprinkler, 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 sprinkler. Sprinkler, sprinkler, sprinkler. This, I wonder, is there any chance that this room is the bad room? It's got a fire alarm. There's no sprinkler in this room. I don't know if it matters. There's no one in it, but throw a sprinkler in there anyway, just to say. 
I would assume these rooms would have lights. The floor above, alarm sprinkler. Now, there's no sprinklers in these rooms, but they're all alarmed. They did tell me I had an alarm violation. It must have been there. Even though if it's not worked? Unless we need a second fire extinguisher in here. These, this bathroom doesn't have any. This room is a little bit bigger. Is that possible? Um, six, I think it needed 10, 10 square meters. This is a six square meter area. So none of these rooms are big enough to justify it. This room here, oh, this room doesn't have a sprinkler. It does have an alarm. Yeah, I don't know what room failed the fire thing. It must have been this one. No, except it had one. I have no idea what needs the uh, fire alarm. I'm gonna have to wait until we fail an inspection again and then hope the search button works. Ugh. What am I? You got one, unless this room needs two. This bathroom's too small to need one. You've got one. What the heck, man? Mm, it's a little annoying. All right, Quill's left ear. Development is happening. We still have um, a year and a quarter to do this, which seems fine. And then, yeah, a year and a half later for Quill's good touch. Oh, um, yeah, so I'm gonna start marketing. I'm gonna do a press release with pictures on Quill's good touch. Again, I'm not expecting this to really generate any followers, but maybe we can just generate some XP for our marketing team. Keep getting them stronger and stronger going forward. Eventually we'll wanna do the release with pictures. Oh, we got some more bugs over here. So let's do a little update for Quill's Good Touch version one. And yeah, we might discontinue all support for version one once version two comes out. Entirely possible. Little night shift squad, Ooh, lots of education. And yeah, over here, yeah, the creativity is maxed out. So that's working nicely. Uh, let's throw in some 3 design, although the systems getting it to level 3 is nice. Okay, we're getting ready to make a bit of a move into 3D. Or at least, yeah, we're, we're preparing ourselves to one day be able to make a move into level 1 3D. Maybe we do a game next, right? We'll have, our, we'll have a 2D tool. Yeah, 2D, not a 3D tool. But maybe you can use a 3D tool and just put in a little bit of 2D, or like, sorry, maybe you can do use a 2D tool and in your game just throw in a little bit of 3D and have something happen. This is all new to me. I haven't gotten this far before. Press release, left ear, support. Oh, more bug fixes, but going a little bit slow here. Oh yeah, these bugs are just the nine that are there. So that's still fine. 21 million in the bank. More education. I, I kind of like picking and choosing the education. I'm sure I will go and automate it at some point. Oh, one tick of 3D. One tick of 3D. And as for you, we could put in the one tick of network in case we've got something that wants it. We'll have some people who can handle it. I think I like that idea. And then we can get people to level three, you know, on other things after that. Okay, we were fined for failing to file a tax report, but save. How did we not, we have an accountant working every single day. How do taxes work? Accounting team's accounting, priority five, yeah. Can I buy gold? Wait, what? Accountant one minute to finish a procurement. Um. Oh, we need a level three. Okay, so cancel that. Buy precious minerals to lower your tax bill. Money made from selling precious mineral offshore account. Funnel money from offshore account back in your business account. Or use money from offshore account for various activities. Oh, man, we can... I'm sorry, we can go and do mad, bad things to other people. That's cool. But my question is still, how do I get the taxes filed? 
wait a couple of months or maybe next year. Maybe there's maybe there's buttons that become active in the new tax year. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Bug fix. And when we release the project, we may need to temporarily get some extra support staff. So right now we just have a single person today. Markets just lit up here. Why? Did I never announce a release date? Yeah, I did. Hype. Good idea to maintain hype once you begin the following. Okay, yeah. Oh, hyping. Currently not losing followers. Okay, well, we don't have any followers, so I don't think it matters. Why are you still blinking? I mean, I'm working on a press release. Oh, that's for Quill's Good Touch 2. I mean, I'm not expecting more followers. Actually, we not, never got any for here. I might have to send out another press build. Maybe once the beta starts, I'll do a press build. Or something. I don't know. I don't know the marketing in this game yet. And I do know that, yeah, you're unlikely to get many followers if you're working a field that's unknown. I'm expecting when the Quill's Good Touch release finishes, we will get some followers excited for a product here. All been sick. Da, 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 da. Okay. Bug fixes are all stable. More education is here. So Vince. Programmer system. I don't know if Vince, I mean, we could have you handle some of the HR stuff if we enabled it. Uh, you do have the leadership turned on. Hold on. So, all right, we'll do that because we might want some auto education later. Oh, you've got more stars available. Well, then we'll do this because we might want to automate hiring at some point. Thelma is on the marketing team, so we'll give you the ability to make press photos as well. So you can help out with that aspect. And Norris Wolf is on the development team at night. We'll give you your first pip of network and give us those maximum options for things later on. Okay. And I'd like the golden design here if we can. No idlers. That's good to see. Finishing this queue, but yeah, it's just help requests. But hopefully we get a really good reputation for our requests. We've literally never missed a support request thing. My 52 minutes into this episode, this game keeps doing this to me. Way too long. <sighs> it's very one more day, especially I think now that I don't really have a stop, right? We're working 24 seven. Natu normally it was like very natural for me to end at the end of each working day and check my timer. I know my night shift people aren't as happy, right? People want to work during the day, so they're less happy and also going to be less productive at night as a result of that. But I think using the office space 24 seven is a really good thing. At what point do we get our own chefs to come in and cook? Because I know that's a thing that exists. Um, yeah, kitchen, oh, stove, fridge, yeah, fire alarm, no kidding. Um, and I know in the canteen, you can put out these serving trays. Cooks will fill serving trays, finished food, employees can eat them. I mean, this hallway here, this is not very well suited to being subdivided into a kitchen, although maybe we can make a little one somewhere. Especially if we move this door over, we could have a little, maybe a three by sp three space here for a kitchen and start giving hot food to our employees. I'm not sure we have the staff to necessarily justify it right now, but it's interesting. We do have, of course, a lot of space over here. We could just make the canteen in the kitchen over here as opposed to the ground floor. Still not sure what I'm gonna do with all those offices, but the, ra the bathroom here seems to be working okay. Again, I'm still wondering if there's a way to like make two rooms that are technically separated by walls count as one big space, but perhaps there's not. What is this room over here? Oh yeah, it's their support room. Yeah, which is fine. And again, we might throw a second support person in here later on when we release something. And touch press market. That's gonna keep working. I definitely don't wanna go and move Quill's Good Touch from design to development until the development on Quill's left ear is done. And in fact, we might wanna do one or two passes of tech support because we're likely gonna get hundreds of bugs the first couple of days, the first couple of months after release. And so our development team might be busy with that. So with Quill's Good Touch, we might actually even go beyond yellow. Might be a ridiculous amount of overkill, but who knows? For now, we're gonna stop 
Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.